14. And we're going to invite uh, Brother Brandon Shepherd, and he's going to share with us 2 Corinthians 4, 1 through 15. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy that was shown us, we do not give up. But we have renounced the shameful, underhanded things, not walking with cunning or adultering the word of God. But by making the truth manifest, we recommend ourselves to every human conscience in the sight of God. If, in fact, the good news that we declare is veiled, it is veiled among those who are perishing, among whom the God of the system of things has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. So the illumination of the glorious good news about, Je about Christ, who is the Im image of God, might not shine through. For we are preaching not about ourselves, but about Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For God is the one who said, let the light shine out of darkness. And he has shown on our hearts to illuminate them with the glorious knowledge of God by the face of Christ. However, we have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the power beyond what is normal may be God's and not from us. We are hard pressed in every way, but not cramped beyond movement. We are perplexed, but not absolutely with no way out. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are knocked down, but not destroyed. Always we endure in our body the death-dealing treatment that Jesus suffered, that the life of Jesus may also be made manifest in our body. For we who live are being brought face to face with death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may also be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Now because we have the same spirit of faith as that of which it is written, I exercise faith, therefore I spoke. We too exercise faith, and therefore we speak, knowing that the one who raised Jesus up will raise us up also with Jesus and will present us together with you. For all these things are for your sake, so that the increase of the undeserved kindness should abound even more, because many more are offering thanksgiving to the glory of God.